the great thing about this job is that without fibbing, I can make it sound as though I've had a classical education. <clears throat> I mean, I've been to Oxford, and I've been to Cambridge, and now I can say I've been to Harrow in Middlesex, not the school, well, it's around here somewhere. We're making a garden for Marius and Krina Manolescu, a couple of Romanians. Stuff's arrived. Cosmopolitan sort of life, isn't it? Oh, this is all right, isn't it? Nice, Wonderful. isn't it? Good morning. You're all right, Marius. Yeah, I'm Sandra. fine. Um, Hi. This is Roxanne. Roxanne, Hi. good to see you. Now, what relationship you are you to Marius and Krina? We're very good friends. But is it you who's yes, inveigled us who... into coming here? Yeah, <laughs> that's Wonderful. right. Well, I tell you what, if you can manage it with... Oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> well, you look like a sort of pallid wasp. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Meet Roxanne. Rock, oh, my nose growing already. How'd you do? <laughs> I don't I don't yes, that. all right, Cyrano de Hackney. Do you? <laughs> right. This is it. This is the patch. Well, what you said was the information I got right. was completely contradictory because it said she loves uh, Krina loves English gardens, um, but she also would like to be reminded of, of the warm Romanian summers. And I thought, yeah. well, that's great. So I've divided the garden in two. So half of it's Mediterranean <laughs> right. and the other half of it's English. Right. Okay, here we go. This is the house. This is the terrace already existing. We start here with some lovely jolly pots of scarlet geraniums, tall clay pots. Mm -hmm. And then the garden actually narrows towards the end, so I've made use of that false perspective by having this lump of lawn which narrows to this, the pergola which divides the garden in two. Um, and this side of it, Mediterranean garden, so this is gravel with stepping stones through, and these sort of barber's poles, it looks like Venetian gondolas, you know, tie your string around this and stop your gondola floating away things. Um, and they're down there, because I quite fancy the look at that. And then we're into the English bit, which has this snaky path, and at the end, two screens to screen off that greenhouse and shed, um, and in front of it, a woven willow seat, so it's terribly English country garden down there, and terribly hot, Mediterranean up here. Well, I really about. like it because it actually forms the initial T for Tommy, doesn't it? Yes, but as you see, coming out of the top of the T, there is a question mark because <laughs> we're never sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. Ah. <laughs> well, we caught up with Krina and Marius at the tube station where we asked them about transport. How far do you go? Uh, Liverpool Street. You go to Liverpool Street? Yes, every and, day. And what, what do you do there? I'm a risk analyst. Risk yes. <laughs> Was it a big risk when you married this man? <laughs> um, well, uh, I have to say, given the fact it happened about almost 11 years ago, the risk uh, was diminished in time, but uh, not well, considerable. I, I'd no. imagine it was quite a big risk at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she yes. took a big gamble. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, young, free, and wild type of thing. Yes, very myself. So where have Marius and Krina gone on the tube? Um, they've actually gone to a um, health farm. Cool. <laughs> It'd be nice if they come back here they can top up their town now they're fine to Yeah. So they're coming back tomorrow at what time? Tomorrow, actually about five. <sighs> Not a lot of time. Because they have to leave at four. So. They have to leave the health farm at yeah. four. Right. So first jobs, mark it out, right. show you where your pergola's going and get stuck in. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Are you ready for this? You like this? Look at that! Oh, brilliant! We used to have a pot way, way back. Well, they still do them now, a bit called long toms, which are, forget the lip there, they go straight down on that kind of angle. So they're just like enormous great thimbles. And they're incredibly handsome, I think. And this is a variation on that. You know how to tell a pot's not cracked? They ring when they're not cracked, and they go gudunk when they are. That's it. Thank you. That is going in the middle. Yeah. Over there. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. 
Paul. My clan's husband. Paul. Oh, that's who you must have, huh? No, don't, not on TV, for God's sake. Are you here to help? Yes, my certainly. Right, well, we need the mixer off and we need a mix stone. Half past three, and at last it looks as though the pergola might be in danger of getting concreted in. But first, a little persuasion is needed to encourage the metal shoes onto the posts. They'll be buried in the ground, eventually. But the other way up, of course. So I'll mark it down 65 and 7 eighths. You keep the light there, the beam, and I'll just adjust it. You see Mr Walsh's latest toy? It's brilliant, it's a laser level. Little red light out here. You see that red light? In there? It's on your arm at the moment. Sorry, I won't burn. Um, now, this is our level. Very clever, little bubble in the top, so make sure you've got your level level. And then you line it up, look at this, on the pencil mark, and then look at the pencil mark on the other up right over there, and if it's level with that one over there, which it is, and then you whiz it round to that one over there, and they're both the same level. Isn't that clever? Diabolical cunning. I think we ought to put all these type ones in. So if you bring all these ones down with this dark leaf yeah. and leave all those ones, okay. yeah? Okay. And I'll bring the pots in. Okay, I'll set go. Okay. <laughs> Mum and Dad will like these geraniums. Yeah, because Mummy hasn't really had much flowers in this one. Hasn't she? She's always, last year we planted some and they hardly grew. Oh dear. Okay, that's the last one. We'll squeeze it delicately into this space. Now I have to get some water. The watering can's down there. That's right, it is. Pergolas are often used on. running down a garden, so you're looking through them. Still. But I wanted to use one here to divide it in two, but nevertheless you still see through it. And you can now see how it's framing the view, both sides. When the second screen goes in behind it, you'll get that extra distance. And uh, I'm quite pleased with the way it's framing. Right. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Tai Chi, huh? Tai Chi, yes. Excellent. Uh, she's really enjoying herself. She, she she told me that is the biggest surprise I've ever made her. So uh, she doesn't realize that the, the real surprise is when she comes back home. Well, yeah, the real surprise will be even bigger. <laughs> It's a bit snug, this one. <laughs> How's that look? Yeah? Are you happy with that? I'm perfectly happy with that. Can we leave the other one till tomorrow? Ten minutes past seven. Of course you can. Looks very good. I'm impressed. Impressed of Harrow. Right. right. Should we head home? I think so. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See you in the morning. Bye. Oh, the great days in the distance enchanted. Days of fresh air in the rain and the sun. How we rejoiced as we struggled and panted. Hardly believable, 40 years on, Haddo's school song. Mm, nice sunny day again. She's doing a trot. She's not going to be in there, is she? No, that's true. She'll probably be in the back garden. With any luck. I don't know. OK, great. OK. No problem. See you later. Bye.
Good morning. Shh. Isn't that wonderful? Quiet. <laughs> no Tommy, no saw, <laughs> no shouting. Not for long. Mm. <laughs> Cup of tea would be lovely, Roxanne. No problem. I'll put one on. Biggest pencil I've ever seen. <laughs> you've seen these, haven't you? You know, if you've been to Venice, you've seen these things sticking out the water. Um, and they stick out at a bit of an angle. So I've dug a fairly narrow hole, and that's pretty secure. I'll ram the soil back round it. And then I want to get Tommy to make a cap for the top, and then some kind of finial, which is going to be difficult, but uh, not impossible, hopefully. And I don't want them to be vertical. It's going to look a bit strange, I suppose, with that vertical pergola behind it. But what the heck, it'll be different, won't it? Oh no, did you hear that noise? Oh no, that's not a ground force lorry, is it? It is. <laughs> the silence will be shattered. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Are we finished? Uh, well, we've started. What time's the barbershop open? I think it's gone to Lagos past here in half an hour. <laughs> Look at that, Agapanthus, African lily, sex on stalks. Now look at that against that lavender fence and weep. I think that's a bit odd. Why don't you try bringing them together in the middle of that seat? What about if we treat them that way? No, I want it square, really. So. Square. Well, bring them Can into you the bring middle. bring them in to meet behind it? Yeah, that's better. And then we'll have a pathway round either side. Excellent, thank you. time to water is really first thing in the morning or last thing at night when it's nice and cool and you shouldn't really water in the heat of the day but when the plants need water they've got to have it. Yes, I'm off. It's ten past twelve, there's not a slab laid yet. I know. It's not a circus. Juggling, you know. Bang. Alan? Yep. Is that right? A little bit clockwise. <laughs> bit more. Yep. Okay. Greed. I'm working in a lot of compost here, because the plant I'm gonna put in is incredibly greedy. Banana. And if you choose a variety of banana called Bazju, um, which is this beauty here, it can get through the winter. But what you must do is make sure the soil is really rich. And it needs to fuel all this squidgy stuff. Lots of water at its roots, hence the compost. And if I ease that off there, tease one or two of these roots out so that it can come out into the soil. Where are and lower it into this hole. I can then feed this juicy stuff around it. And the greatest pleasure for me about plants like the banana and this miscanthus behind is seeing the light through the leaves. Look at that. Do you have solar panels in your garden? Yes, it's full of them. The leaf is the original solar panel manufacturing food, but looking every bit as wonderful and spectacular as stained glass. Oh, praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. The paving's coming in. Oh, hello, Tom. <laughs> I know I sound like Mr Whiplash, but, you know, they get lulled into a false sense of security. It's 25 minutes to one. Tommy might be pacing himself, but we'd like to put some plants in the cottage garden end and want him out of the way first. When this gravel's all in, we'll have finished the Mediterranean half of the garden. Or 
rather, it will be finished when Tommy lays the paving slabs for here too. So where's your paving coming to, Tommy? Well, it's roughly in line with this screen, right, so... but it's got to fray into here a little bit. OK, what, here? Oh, no, yeah. no, you're right there, not that far in. Karina wanted this conundrum combination of a garden, really. She said she wanted something sort of hot and European Mediterranean, but also a lovely English rose garden. So the obvious thing was to divide the garden in two with this pergola, so the hot med's well underway. Now we get down to the classic English country garden. And I tell you, this afternoon with the sun coming down, it's the middle of June, beautiful scent, but I think when somebody named this rose, inspiration was taking a day off. Golden beauty. Oh, it's not even golden beauty, it's yellow beauty. Even less inspiration. He was in college. He was. He's a Vaughan. And we're in Vaughan Road. It's quite damp, this. Don't lean on them too hard. I could float no. if I were a fairy. Don't say anything. <laughs> Right, that's this bottom section finished, Mr T. Um. Hello. Tommy? Yes? Would you like me to lay the slabs in the beds dry? It being in the middle of a flower bed, they don't necessarily need to be mortared in. If you want to lay them out dry, then I'll how you want them, and then I'll bed them up. It'll only take me ten minutes to bed them sure. up, once you've set them out. OK. I should keep them occupied and keep them off my back for a while. I missed that. Tell me later. You like it? This looks really nice. Yeah, can you see the roses there at the back? Where? Oh, there. The yellow ones, yeah? Charlie's down there. If you look at this grass, it's in a bit of a state, and you'd be right. Come down here and have a look. Um, but there is plenty of grass there, um, and two small children in the house. Now, in weather like this, it's the middle of June. If you lay wonderful looking greensward, new turf, there's a grave danger that it may well burn up in this kind of heat, especially when the family hasn't got an outside tap. So I'm just going to cut this back. It's a good hard wearing surface, and as soon as the shower is a shower of rain or they turn a sprinkler on it, it will green up. So, 10 15 minutes. 10 15 minutes? Uh huh. Um, you're coming from the. As, as you look outside the house from the left? I will be coming from the left, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. I'll see you there. Tommy, we've got 10 minutes. We've got to get this timber on there. Right, okay, start bringing it on. Will you jump up? There's another four to four, Willie. There's another one more. Which way? Do you want me to go there? Right, Willie, see me back. Where are we hiding? Around the corner, anywhere around the corner. Well... <laughs> <laughs> 
I've got to show you something. What? It's really good. Okay. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Look! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm in shock! Did I leave you speechless this time? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah! <laughs> There's um, oh, Alan. Hello! Hello! <laughs> How was the house farm? Oh, it was, it was good. This Excellent. is better. <laughs> Alan. How are you, Hello. Thank you very much. Pleasure. <laughs> Tommy. And Tom oh, Hart. I see you as well. Hello. And Willie. Hello. Uh, How are you? Thank you very much. Good. Excellent. Wow. Featureless plane to feature garden just in time. This really is a garden of two halves, with the English cottage garden half at the far end, complete with roses. The transverse pergola acts as a divider, supplying seating to left and right and retaining the Romanian half closest to the house. Now, I've been to Romania, and it gets steamy hot down on the Black Sea coast, so I hope Krina won't think a banana too out of place. Whee! Whee! There we are, Maya. Thanks, Nerve-wracking job. <laughs> it was well, worse for you, in a way, it wasn't it? Really? She says, I, I have a feeling that you are hiding something from me. Oh, yeah! yeah that's what Although she I said. I don't know I, what. I can no. feel it. You're hiding, so yeah. I don't know what it is. Now you may, yes, I remember. And I'm, I'm ever so good at suspecting <laughs> things. Now, I wonder if she's going to trust me. Anything, <laughs> so. Don't knock it all back at once, otherwise you'll never make a good gardener. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Cheers. Well done. Enjoy it. What's the toast in Romanian? What do you say? Norok. 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 So from this Mediterranean garden come English garden come bit of Romania in Ara. Norok. Till the next time. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>